Many past cartographers depicted Antarctica centuries before its current discovery in 1820 including Orontius Vinaeus, Mercator, Uetch, and Piri Race. These cartographers depicted a southern hemisphere landmass, which they often referred to as Terra Australis or Terra Australis Incognita. This landmass had been hypothesized since the ancient Greek period and was pointed to as a possible extension of the known continents of the northern hemisphere. The name Terra Australis comes from the Latin words terra, meaning land, and australis, meaning southern. Some cartographers who have depicted Terra Australis in their maps have also written theories and speculations about the geographical features and nature of the unknown lands in the southern hemisphere. For example, Flemish cartographer Gerardus Mercator believed that Terra Australis was inhabited by bizarre creatures and fantastic sea monsters, while French cartographer Guillaume Letestu described Terra Australis as a fertile and prosperous land with mineral riches and abundant forests. Tales and legends exist regarding the alleged exploration of Antarctica before its official discovery in 1820. One of the most famous accounts involves the Polynesian explorer Hui Te Ranyara, who would be the first to discover Antarctica some 1,300 years ago. According to legend, Hui Te Ranyara set out with a crew of seven canoes from Rarotonga, an island in the Pacific Ocean, and sailed south until he reached Antarctica. Legend claims that Hui Te Ranyora would have seen glaciers, icebergs and marine animals that do not exist in the Pacific Ocean and that he would have returned to Rarotonga to tell of his exploits. The tale of Hui Te Ranyora is an oral legend of the Cook Islands, an archipelago in the Pacific. The legend has been passed down from generation to generation by the inhabitants of the islands and has never been documented in writing. I have already presented in the video channel where I present clues of knowledge of America long before its official discovery, this continent would have already been known, by the Romans, Vikings and Chinese. Did the same thing happen to Antarctica? To find out more, subscribe to the channel, more videos will be made on this interesting land. Thanks for watching.